Hi guys, this is another car mukbang. Sorry, uh, I don't have like the actual thing. I got Burger King. Burger King got like a new thing out. They got I didn't know they had mozzarella sticks, but I forgot I watched Pusha uh, Tatis channel and I was like, ooh, I want those. But I got the five piece, uh, what do you call it? It's French toast sticks, which I love. This is what my mom gets like all the time. And I'm like, hell yeah. And the reason why I'm up, oh, it's sir. The reason why I'm up this early is because I'm actually at school. Um, I had to work this whole weekend. I didn't know and I forgot about it or I would have arranged it, you know, at a different time. But I had to work last night. I had to work Saturday because I was off from school because I had a I had strep throat. I don't know how long I had it, but... Uh, I work at a dental school, so I mean, I go to school for dental. Hopefully, I work here in the future. French toast. Mmm. So. Mmm. That's really good. And I also like frozen, like warmed up stuff, but like. I haven't had a proper meal, and like when I go home today, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get this chicken breast and you know cook it up." But like I saw Ruby Tuesday, and I was like, "Oh, I love your salad bar," but I was like, "Should I go there or not?" You know. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like I said, um, I had to work this. I worked seven days straight. Wasn't supposed to. New girl started. She quit. I took a whole week off, which not good. Like, who starts something and then, like, just takes up a full week? Unless it's, like, an actual emergency. You know what I'm saying? And then I tried wearing a picture from Domino's. Didn't realize I hit carry on, so delivery. I'm like, ugh, you know? So I really, really wanted wings, but I was like, oh, well, I'm going to go to, like, pick a Wiggly or something and get wings. That's cheaper that way. So I want a ton of wings. Like, I haven't been eating. I've been like, ramen noodles, stuff like that, quick, easy stuff, you know? And last night I went to bed hungry because like I was just like it's too late for me to eat, you know. I got home at like freaking one o'clock. Didn't go to bed till three because I could because I had to unwind from work, you know. And I I just I feel I feel like I just literally just hit the bed too, and I woke up and I was like, ugh. And I'm spinning on the way to get here because, like, I low key wanting to eat. Mmm, that's really good. Because everything was closed but McDonald's. But I didn't want McDonald's. I've been eating McDonald's for like so long. Because like, that's the only thing open. Like when I come home. You know. So I went to Burger King today. A lot of people don't like Burger King. I don't know why. I got orange juice. This is like all the things I'm not supposed to be eating today, but it's my day off. So like whatever.
And if you're not, somebody's talking smack about me at work. Not really happy about that, honestly. This is the new item. The French toast. I forgot to tell them no cheese. Dang it, oh well. This is a French toast sandwich. It's very hot, which is good. Um, it's like bread, cheese, I mean egg, cheese. I steam it on because I was hot as hell. And that uh, um, sausage. He asked me if I wanted. I couldn't hear him over the intercom. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I just like assumed, and he thought I, I don't know. But he was very nice, very professional. Um, like, mm. Honestly, I like this better than the croissants because the croissants is too, like, it's too much. Either people overcook the croissant and it's crunchy. Like, I don't want a crunchy ass sandwich unless it's a taco. You know what I'm saying? And even if it's a taco, I'd rather have a soft taco than a hard taco, in my opinion. Most people like hard. I want a soft taco. And, um, I'm not sure if it has, like, a little bit of syrup in it. Maybe I'm tripping or not. I don't know. But, mmm. But I know everybody's doing like cringe mukbangs. So I'm just kind of like low key, not like, not really like waiting for mine to show up. I just hope mine don't. Mmm. Like, if I was to wear my school outfit, I will not, you know, care. Mm. That's really good. If y'all get this sandwich, there's the syrup. It'll taste so much better. Like if they had like syrup inside like the batter or something like that, or infused inside the sandwich, that'd be so good. Or have like a maple sausage. Sorry, someone's like literally parking right behind me. I don't know what that is. I have like no more drink. <sighs> I'm gonna put my syrup in here because I will forget about my trash for a bit and leave it in here. And then when I come back, I'm like, oh my gosh, this one like Burger King in here. The last time I had like McDonald's in here, and I left it in here and I went to work and I forgot all about it. And I was like, dang it. But Fairfield's a nice city, though. 
I just don't know where the cops are at. So I'm just kind of like, I'm not trying to speed. So I saw my, my GPS now for Google says the speed uh, limit on there. Pass rounds. It's really soggy. It says a speed limit on there. So. I also did my freaking syrup in the damn house browns. Dang it. Um. Yeah, like you can you can legally go over five, I think, or ten, depending on like where you're at, you know. But I think you go if you go over ten, you're fine. I mean, you're you're like not fine, but like you're in like big crap, you know. But um. I had strep throat out of random, and my my boss had it. I think she gave it to me. I don't know how. This is from work, by the way. Then she was coughing in my face, and I was like, what the heck? And everybody else kept coughing in my face. So, like, older little kids and stuff like that, and everybody just coughing, coughing, coughing. So now I'm making sure to use hand sanitizer. Excuse me. And spray because I'm not getting sick again. I still I still went to work though, but I couldn't go to school because um that's gross. Because I'm a dental going to be a dental assistant soon, so I can only do certain things if I'm sick, you know. And we were going and I, we actually go to school in a dental office, so I can't come infected because if I do, I can like whatever I touch. It, or cough on, breathe. I can get somebody else who comes in the office sick, so I'm not doing that. That's very unprofessional, you know. Look at our eyes, because I don't want to come all the way up here and be like, oh no, you gotta go home. Uh uh, I'm getting my whole crutch today. You know? But I really gotta start eating better because. I just start eating better. I think I'm gaining a lot of weight. I I was, was losing weight. I got several on here. I think I gained it all back. <laughs> Cause like when I was losing weight, I didn't want to eat. I wasn't happy, you know. And now, you know. I barely have time to eat. But, um. My ex's mama. This is like the last time I'm talking about her, I swear. Contacted me on Facebook. About wanting to apologize, want me back in her life. Boo hoo, you know, to the third. And this is like the 18th time. Like, literally, the 18th time she has, like, tried to message me. But it was the first time where I didn't want to do nothing to do her with her. I didn't want to talk to her. I, you know. I was still mad at her for, you know, certain things that happened. And one of the things I'm really mad about is, like, um... Sorry, I'm just like really sleepy right now. <laughs> One of the things I'm like really, really mad about is um her lying about me, spraying drama and lies about me on Facebook for no reason. Um, I don't care lies about Facebook, but. Like when I come to you with problems or issues I'm having, like keep that to yourself, sis, you know? Don't spread it around. So, 
she has like made fun of my uh, depression and my anxiety and my PTSD. Every time I kind of like don't want to hang out with her, or whatever, once I'm her, she's like, oh, it's because she's depressed. What? Like, who? You're not a doctor, Boo Boo, so who, who are you? Like, I'm a very introverted person. She's a very extroverted. Oh, sorry. She's a very extroverted uh, person. I don't like, I don't like, every boyfriend I had has been like a, like a, um, very outgoing, sociable, loves being around people, hates sitting, hate sitting down on one spot all day, gotta always be doing something. And me, I can sit on one spot all day if I'm not, if I have nothing else to do. I'm ready to sit down, chill, relax, stay in my room, stay where I'm at, you know, stay in my, like, sleep clothes all day, chill, order, you know, fast food or whatever, get it delivered to my door, and call it a day, you know? So I gotta see what time it is, because I gotta be somewhere at a certain, I gotta be at, I gotta be in this building by, like, 7.30. Oh, I'm good, 6.49. But, um... All my boyfriends have been that way. Don't know why. I don't know why I attract them. I wish I can attract somebody who's like the same energy as me. Who can or understands that, you know, I am not going to be in your face all day. Like, leave me alone. And it's kind of very tiring for me to really... It's not because I'm lazy or fat or whatever. It's just tiring because I, I work. I go to school. I don't need nobody to be in my face all day talking about extra stuff I don't care about, you know? And that's how she is. And I've been in the mood to where I love my own company. I I just like I just like in my own company. I okay, can't as simple as that. It's nothing against her, nothing against anybody else. But I can't keep I I just don't like being around people anymore because I work in retail. And that sucks, you know. <laughs> Uh, especially this weekend, I didn't want to be there, and I had people try to be snippy with me, and I'd rather not take it out on somebody else, I'd rather just, you know, come home, relax, watch YouTube, Twitch, you know, Hulu, whatever, and calm down, you know, but I can't do that, and every time I want to spend time with myself, or with my, with one of my exes, or my boyfriends, she just gets really offended, you know, and I don't understand why, that like, I don't consider her family, I, I just don't really care about her, really. And I don't understand why she doesn't really get, get the hint. I told her this multiple times that, you know, I'm really not that interested in it. And this time, I didn't really talk to her or try to spend an extra injury because I knew how she was going to come at me. And she came at me a very dis disrespectful way. And she keeps saying the same thing over and over again. That's not what I'm mad about. She keeps bringing up old stuff that I'm not really mad about anymore. But it's making me more mad, you know? Uh, that, like, this woman, I have, like, groceries for her, gas, you know, took her, get her ride, you know. Uh, if she needs somewhere to stay, I gave her a hotel room for, like, a night, you know, whatever. Gave her my own personal money, which I shouldn't have had. Um, I did a lot for this woman, her family. And my parents have did too, but they kind of backed out of knowing how she, they knew how she was. I didn't know how she was until, but they, I'm a very strong person. When people tell me to leave that person alone, I got to like know for myself why I leave that person alone, you know? I'm like a child, really, at heart. Like, if the thing's hot and you tell me it's hot, I will literally like, burn my ass or my hand or whatever and be like, oh, it's actually hot. Like, I have to learn my lesson the very hard way. And it, and it will take me three, four times for me to like learn to stay away from that person. And I usually, I don't know why, but, like, in the past, I have tried to be very toxic, very not mama boys, pretty much very toxic mama boys. And they're mama boys, mama, mama boys and mama boy in general. And I have never been that clingy or close to my parents in my life. I don't understand the struggle of, like, just me and my mama, you know? And that way, I always had both parents in my life, lucky I'm blessed to have that. But, you know, I don't understand why, you know, mama boys are that way. I don't understand it at all, you know. I don't understand, you know, um, 
I just don't understand that because I never had that relationship with my parents at all. You know, we were we're close, but we're not like that close to where you know I would just like if somebody said something about my parents. Of course, I'm gonna hop and be like, "What's what's good?" Like square up, you know what I'm saying? But I never was just like that adamant to where I had to be very clingy onto my mama or have my mama clingy onto me, and there's nothing I can do about it until the day she dies. You know, because. I just don't know how it is to where, you know, I have to really just be, you know, tank. Like, I know everyone wants to take care of their parents, but, like, my parents want me to kind of, like, move out and live my own life, you know? They want me just as I was, like, 18, but to me, like, until I was, like, 29 to, like, move out. 28, 29 to move out. <laughs> because I didn't know what I want to do in life, and it let me stay there. I was, like, grateful. And I have moved out, moved in with them back and forth multiple times. So have my other sisters, you know, we're fortunate to have that, you know, as a backup plan. But I was like, this is my life now. I want to do what I want to do and it's moved out. And of course I wouldn't have moved out without my ex, you know, saying, hey, let's come down here and be together and get married and whatever, blah, 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 which was a total lie. Uh, I kind of knew that was a low key lie. Cause I was like, if you if you want to get married, we, we would already been married, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, back onto the subject, I know I got off topic. I just don't understand why I keep talking mama boys. Like, ever since I started dating and wanting to date, every, every guy is just pretty much a big mama boy. And I'm just like, why? I don't understand that, <laughs> you know? But it is what it is. Um, yeah, I just don't understand it at all, in my opinion. And, um... I understand, like, I kind of, like, understand the situation, but then I don't. But, like, the thing is, she's very kind of, like, wants to be a part of our relationship. And, like, this is weird. Like, you have your own relationship. Let, me, let us have us. You know what I'm saying? So, she's not know any boundary lines. So, when I tell her certain things, you know, or if I don't want to be involved or hang out with her, her husband, her whole family, she feels absolutely offended. And... I could hang out with her every single day, but if I take out like one day or one hour for myself, she just gets very offended and aggressive. And I don't like that, you know? I, I know I could be that way, but I actually have comments to be like, okay, what well, is this? They just spend like X amount of time with me. I can let them go for a bit, you know? I just don't understand why she's really like that. Like, every, every ex's mom in my life has been very like, like that to me. But she takes it to another level to where she kind of like is very stalking me on Facebook, checking my other, you know, account. I hope she don't know my other accounts. I'm not sure if she watches my YouTube or not. I don't know about that. Um, if she does, then hopefully this video will explain everything to her in a more common civil sense. Because I was not going to take my time out my day to really talk to her anymore because I'm done with the drama. I'm done with the lies. I'm done being uh, I'm done just getting mind screwed by her every single at every single opportunity, and it seems like every time it's like me or her family, she she chooses me over her family, and he does the same thing. I'm just kind of like, but well, if we're engaged, <laughs> how does that work? You know, like you got to balance both people. You know, and um. I don't know, she seemed like, it, when, I don't know if he told her that we we're getting married, but she seemed very, like, super clingy, uh, after a while, and I just don't like that, <laughs> you know, like, I, I didn't want nothing to do with her at all, like, once you, once I had enough of you, I just wanna, you know, I, I, I'm done, you know, I'm done, 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 you know, I, I just don't want nothing to do with you, and she's not getting that hint, and, like, she'll forget and come back. And I'm just kind of like, oh, great. You know, like, what I'm really mad at her about, her lying about me, spreading lies about me on Facebook, and uh, or telling people I did this or that, but want me to be around you? I don't understand. Like, if I'm done with somebody and, or said something about somebody, like, that's when I'm, like, done with you, you know? And, um, at that time, you know, I was getting ready for work. So, and I was, and I was hungry at the same time, so I really didn't want nothing to do with you at that point, you know, and um, she was like, oh, you know, I kind of knew what she was already going to say, and I was just kind of like, nope, 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 you know, in my head already, like, I already made a decision before you even said it, because I already, I already know how she's going to be, she want me to come down there, the freaking, uh, mobile or whatever she's at, 
and or oh hoover that's where she's at now wants me to come down there and visit her i don't know where there i'm nowhere near damn hoover i'm not gonna travel like across the country to go visit her that's oh uh, uh, hell no like no you know i don't care if she's lonely or what but she can make friends you know in hoover or whatever she's at she doesn't need to come back to me to make me like we were never friends in the beginning the only reason why I had I actually started a relationship with her because I was dating her son. That was the only reason. Like, if me and her son are done and over with, I don't want nothing to do with you, you know? Like, the only reason why I'm nice to you because I'm dating your son. You know, that's it, you know? Or else I generally, you know, like you. And, um, I'm very picky, you know? I don't, I like certain people. And a lot of people like me and I don't know why, you know? Um, a lot of people want to be around me, want to talk to me, but I want to surround myself around certain people. And if I'm doing it, should be doing it. Okay, but if I, if I actually talk to you after work, that's a big thing. That's a big deal because that means I kind of have some sort of, you know, interest or I just need you because you need to hang out. I need you for like two more months and I'm going to quit anyways, you know what I'm saying? Um, hmm, I don't know. I just don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a people person. I'm not a person who's gonna like be all in your face. That's not me. I just don't like certain people because like of uh, how people are very messy. And I have a I have a bunch of guy friends, and I do act in a more guy way. Cause like my coworker was like, "Damn, you act just like a guy." And I was like, "Well, I had a ton of guy friends when I was growing up. You know, I never had female friends. Maybe that's the reason because like, I've never had female friends before." So, like, you know, um, oh, the sun's out. I never had a few friends, so it's hard for me to be, you know, a, a feminine kind of person around them when they want that energy out. So, I can't get that to you. I'm <laughs> sorry, you know. I'm low-key, like, a, I'm a full-blown tomboy. There's nothing that's going to change that. I wear dresses occasionally when I want to, but most of the time, you're going to see me in pants, shorts, jeans, shorts. You know, like regular ass shorts. That's about it. You know, period. Or my scrubs, or like my work uniform. You know, that's that's it. And uh, if I'm wearing shit pants, forget about me. Get free out me about getting at at those damn pants. You know, like I will literally, you know, actually just be in those pants. You know. But uh, yeah, I just um, made this long ass video just to be making it to say, hey, I'm somewhat back. I'm in school right now, working full time, taking more hours than necessary, you know. So that's going to be fun. Um, I look at an event and I'm tired, so I'm going to be talking more than often. But I will try to make more of my videos more daily and try to have more fun in my videos. i just been working a lot and I work nights, so it's kind of hard to do that. So I'll try to send on my days off. So um, I'm going to go because the sun's hella bright and it's right. Oh man, I don't, don't know why I parked there. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.